YouTube.com, Horn Lake Eagle Vision here, and today we are talking about gaming. Patrick, you're a gamer? Yes. All right. The new Spider Man is like all the flipping rage all over the internet right now, and I realize it just recently came out. Explain to me, for those of us who are not up on gaming culture at all, what's the deal with the Spider Man game? So, this, this Spider Man game in particular. Just like most of them, it's open world. Mm -hmm. The graphics are phenomenal, phenomenal. Especially if, if you have a, a PlayStation 4 Pro, like that means you can like play the game in 4K resolution. Okay. So basically, the game basically looks like a movie. Right now, I saw a couple of trailers on television because they've been pushing obviously the game on TV. And at first, I actually thought there was a new Spider-Man movie coming out. So that's a testament to how how realistic the graphics really are. It's, it's pretty incredible. So uh, the game is for what console? For PlayStation only. PlayStation only. It's, an ex it's a PlayStation exclusive. That means no Xbox users can play. Okay. And what model of PlayStation are we up to now? Four? Well, the newest one, the 4 Pro. But you okay. have the PlayStation 4, the 4 Slim, and the 4 Pro, of course. Okay. Now, you said that it's open world, and I was asking before we actually turned the camera on, I was asking the question about future um, versions of the game because several people were talking about that they can't wait for the next episode to come up or whatever. So, explain that. So, the game itself is already big enough. It took me roughly about 48 hours in total just to complete it, but over like the course of like a year, I believe, like every two months or so, they're gonna add like a new DLC. Okay. So you have to pay for it, like twenty dollars or so. We talked earlier on the show that uh, about the new Google Yeti console. Explain to those watching about the Yeti. What, what's the deal? So the Yeti, apparently, you don't need to download games. Like you don't need to buy the disc or anything. It's like you stream the games. So basically, they're they're on the console. You just play them like it does require a really good internet because you basically get them straight from online so they're not they're not buffering or downloading any of the packages ahead of time you're actually just Playing grabbing an online while it's more while, while it's basically downloading so if it if a lot of potential problems could arise yeah, with that if so you don't have a very very while you're playing if, especially if you're playing like an online game you're in the middle of a gunfight or something starts buffering Right. So, so the market for that is probably going to be a younger generation, I'm assuming. 10-year-olds, yeah. 12-year-olds. A the, lot of the students who have not invested in either of the other worlds, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. Because nobody wants to see it adjusted to a new controller or a new feel. Right. Okay. And you said earlier that you were a PlayStation guy? Yeah. And how long have you been a PlayStation guy? I started off Xbox whenever I had my, my first console, the Xbox 360, but then after that, it's just PlayStation controllers are much more smaller for my hands. Right. How old were you when you started heavily into PlayStation? What grade? Probably about fifth. Fifth grade? Okay, so you've been a PlayStation guy for a very long time. Yeah. Then. PlayStation 2, was that one of your yes. first? Mm -hmm. All right, I can relate. That was the, that was the last console I bought. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a gamer. Um, Fortnite. I feel like it's losing steam. I wouldn't say it's... Well, I, I used to like it, but I don't think Fortnite will, like... Eventually, it's going to, like, go out. But at this point, it's on every console. The Wii Switch, even. But, like, <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. Even oh. the Wii Switch. Right. <laughs> but it's on the Nintendo Switch, and, like... It's on all these platforms for free, so anybody can who has a console, an iPhone, now even add them to Samsungs. So you can just download this game from online and play it whenever you want. I think that's that's a real big thing for everybody because a game that big, all these updates are free, and the, while I'm the not game. Sure I understand. <laughs> all right. And that's Patrick having his phone out while we're trying to film. It's okay. Uh, basically, I remember last spring that the game was just huge. I mean, it was the biggest thing. That's, that's 
that's all pretty much any student wanted to play that I was talking to at the time. They're like, oh, Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. Now, I just don't hear as much hype about it. So obviously, a lot of serious gamers are over it or tired of it and have moved on to something else. It just seems like it's losing steam amongst your generation. It's just like it's running out of ideas constantly. So now it's adding irrelevant items and it's just doing too much with the game. But now they're adding more Battle Royale games like Call of Duty's getting to Battle Royale with this newest Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Right. Added a blackout mode, which 100 players, you can play squad, solos, or duos. Okay. What is the next big thing in gaming that you're looking forward to that's coming? I'm assuming that there's some stuff on the horizon, especially with holiday season coming up, because a lot of these companies release a lot of stuff around Thanksgiving trying to get the holiday traffic. A game I'm really looking forward to is the, the new Red Dead Redemption. You can play that one in 4K also, the Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. The first one was absolutely amazing for its time, and this one's going to be even better. What's the game about? Describe it a little bit. So, basically, like, takes place in takes place in like a wild west theme okay and like it's, it's it's an open world it's made by the same people who like make grand theft auto okay it's just so interactive with the community they also made like a spin-off i don't think it was that good it was called red dead redemption undead nightmare it's basically okay. a bunch of zombies walking around but high class graphics i'm assuming for that for that console yeah but for the 4k red dead redemption 2 that's going to come out They've really upped their game, I'm assuming. Yes. Have you already seen some releases or trailers? Yes. They uh, recently, like probably like a month ago, released a 4K trailer, and it was just... What awesome. will the game retail at? Have they said yet? Like the price? Mm-hmm. Well, most games nowadays, just especially like console, released at like $59. Okay. Do you download your games typically, or do you go buy physical media? Oh, I download them. Okay. 